97 Bridge FM, that was our triple play for our Anzac Day, of course, and we just had cold chisels. K San, and before that we had, of course, um, Red Gums, I was only 19, and we kicked it off with the Wolf Brothers and Hey Bra. Now, I have Scrutiny in the house. Uh, we're going to play one of their tracks called Dirty from their uh, uh, debut uh, album, and then we're going to come back and talk to them about their brand new sing single called Firefight, which is an absolute rocket.
97 Bridge FM. That was Scrutiny with their song that they released last year called Dirty. Now, Scrutiny are a four piece heavy rock band from North Brisbane who released their debut album Watch This in December 2020 uh, with an onslaught of heavy, catchy tunes that comes as a breath of fresh air. Drawing from personal experiences, Scrutiny fights for you in a world full of moral challenges. In the late 2019, lead singer Darren Cooks, Cucks, is that yep, that's Cucks, correct? Cucks. Cucks. had a near fatal car crash, uh, but when the band pressed on and inspired songs like Where Are the Angels, putting down a, uh, putting down for even considering being a in a band, watch this, is a result that they can be not stopped. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are, you will always face scrutiny, hence the band name. And I have two of the boys from here, from them tonight, Darren and Brent. Hello, welcome back to 917, guys. How's How you been, John? What's happening? What's oh, been happening? Just so happy to be back. Happy to be back. I know it was my first show back for the year. Uh, I normally start early January or mid January, but a uh, lot's been going on in my world. So uh, yeah, I've, I've had a bit of a, uh, a siesta with the show, but uh, we're back for the year, so that's good. So we can start getting local music back on the airways, which is fantastic. Now uh, that's what we just heard, Dirty. What's that all about? That was off your album last year, yeah. Yes. Yes. From Watch This. Yes. Yes. So okay. That's so, track number two on the Watch This album. Yep. Yeah. So what was that all about? Uh, it's about a bad night out. A bad night. We've all had them. Yes. We've so a lot of people them. should be able to relate to this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Male, female, it doesn't matter. Yes. We've all had a bad night out. We have. Uh, a strapping young, handsome man got uh, seduced and she ripped him off. Oh, no. That's a bit dirty. It was. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people asked me. Did you see what I did there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the chick in his song? You know, it was a friend of my friend's. So I, oh, so it's from personal experience. Well, not no, personal. Well, I just heard this. Not personal experience, but a friend of yours that had gone through this. Yeah, a friend of his. Wow, yeah. okay. Not good. <laughs> all right, now, uh, I believe uh, you lost a band member and you've gained a new band member this year. How's that all going? Fantastic. We yeah. had a new drummer. His name is John as well. John? Oh, it must be a good bloke then. So you know, you know right off the bat he's good. <laughs> you know straight off the bat he's good. <laughs> yeah. No, he's a killer drummer. Awesome. Best drummer I've ever played with. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a big call. Wow. Big call. Um, yeah, we're very happy with John. He's a great guy. He's funny, he can play the drums like a monster. It's excellent. And I have to say, in a band, it is hard, you know, to, to, you've all got to get along. Like, I mean, you've all got one thing in common, music, obviously, but it's, 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 it's the in-between bits, you know, like the, the rehearsals and stuff, and you've all got to be able to get along yeah, and be able exactly to fit in right. each other's little well, world and, you know. When we audition people, Part of it is, hey, look, at the end of the day, we've got to be best friends. Yeah, well, you do. You do, you know, um, especially if you want to go anywhere with it, you know. Yeah. So uh, now when you guys uh, recorded this new track, did you guys record any other tracks to be released later this year? Absolutely. Awesome. So can I ask how many? Let's just say. <laughs> Enough for an album, maybe? <laughs> about a dozen. Oh, about a dozen. Wow. So there could be a new album out later this year? I'd say there would be. One very soon, yeah. Oh, that'll be awesome. Well, we'll make sure you keep in contact with us about that. Now, what's the new track Firefight all about? Um, and did you all write it together? Or is this another one of uh, your masterpieces, Brent? We wrote this one together. Yes. So, well, how it start? Darren and I talked about doing a song for the veterans last year. Yep. Uh, and trying to put it on Watch This. Yes. But it didn't. we just didn't get around to it, if that makes sense. It wasn't there. Well, last year was a bit of a prick of a year, to be honest, to be able to do anything, really, wasn't it? We all yeah, sort of got locked it, away. It wasn't so much that. It, when you were trying to make a song, yeah, it, it, you feel the vibe of the song, and that that creates the you know inspiration for yep. what you're going to say. What you're gonna, yep, yep, and yep. it doesn't always end up being about what you want it to be about. Yeah. Um, but this time, after Christmas, we were having a jam you know how you mark around we yep. we came up with bits and pieces of this song all together and then i threw it all together and we recorded it got everyone to be on it and then yeah we were ready to show the world so where did you record it at? um i recorded it myself in my little studio oh cool so you got your own little studio well it was the same as the band we had before earlier in the night kill toys they have their own little studio down there and they did it all themselves in there too. So, yeah. you know, and, and that is, that's happening a lot now. You know, uh, a lot of bands are doing that. They're setting up their own little recording studios and, and doing it. It's a lot easier these days you can do that. Like back on the old days, you couldn't do it. Now with all the computers and all that sort of stuff, you can do that, you know. For sure. You know, so. It's you, know. you have to, you have to have a lot of patience and you have to learn a lot. Otherwise, 
you're not going to be able to do it. No, that's right. And I mean, it's just expensive to go to the studio and you know book a room and to do it all. Well, we're know. going to go to one. Uh, we were talking to Star Audio. Oh yes, Star Audio. But I just recently moved house, and we wanted to make sure it was ready for Anzac Day. Yeah. Um, and we just didn't have time. Like we were just so busy, we, we couldn't do it. Yeah. So. So. There is going to be a new album this year? Yes. Yes. Can we get a rough date? Do we talk in the middle of the year or something? Not sure yet? Not sure. Not sure. I'd say just after halfway. And uh, is it very similar to what we're about to hear, Firefight? Is it very similar sort of tracks or is there, a, you know, like there's a... There'll be some huge tracks. Yep. We, some of the stuff we've come up with is... Pretty awesome. You know, last time we were here, you said... You always think your first album is your best album. It yep. is because it's the only album you've done. But that's right. Yeah, the second album I think is going to be a lot better. I think so too. I've been thinking about that lately. Yeah, exactly what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it is. It's it's a it's a known fact, you know. Like, but you know, it, if you've got to try and beat that sort of, I mean, some bands will will put their best out first, but then some bands will put out something that they think it's great, but then they do better and they do better and they do better and they, you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. So. No, I might have those up to you. I think it'll be great. Now, the gig scene. Uh, last year, obviously, COVID, yeah, yeah, shut everybody down, so you weren't able to get out there and play live music. Live music's finally starting to get back out there, which is great. Uh, now, we were talking off air. Uh, you haven't got any gigs coming up just yet, but you're in talks with getting some that's going to happen soon. Where can we go to when you do finally get some locked in? Uh, on your Facebook page, or where, where can they find out where, where you're going to be playing at? Follow us on Facebook. Look up Scrutiny Music. Yep, Scrutiny Music on Facebook. It's absolutely the best place. We can go live every Tuesday night. All oh, do you really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Not musically, just... Yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah okay. Chatting to people. Well, that's, um, that's become quite popular as of last year. I know a lot of bands do that now. Once a week, they'll get on there, like um, my brothers, the Wolf Brothers, they do, the, they do a thing called the Wolf Pack. Yeah. And they do that every Friday night. They do a, an hour or two on the Wolf Pack, and they, they get on there, they'll play a few tunes, or they'll just talk about crap or whatever. But, you know, and their fans get on there and see them and watch them. And, yeah, it's a great way to communicate with your... It's cool. You know, you know, it is cool. You know, if you can't go to a gig to watch them, well, you can get jump online and, you know, watch them on there. Um, so, okay, so no gigs locked in yet, but you've got some coming up and you're going to let them know when you... Now, if anyone wants to buy any of your music or go and check it out, where can they go? Uh, again, Facebook has Facebook? all the links. Yep. Spotify? Like, you can go listen to it at Spotify, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You can go to iTunes and if you're an Apple user, yep. you can uh, go to scrutinyhq.com. That's where I would suggest to get it from. Now, the reason because I say that... You can also buy our sweet merch. Yeah, you've got some good merch, actually. Um, the one thing I do what was one thing I was really pushing last year for bands was uh, well, I had an artist in here and he said the best way you can support a, a local band is to go to directly to their page, their web page or their Facebook page and buy the songs from them directly. Because when you go to Facebook, uh, sorry, go to Spotify and that you get pittance for it, you get nothing. But there you're, you're putting the money directly into the pockets of the musicians right there when you go and buy it straight from their website. So I encourage people to do that because the money going into your pockets then not not via this, that, that, and other rest of it. It's going into your pockets. And that's what, what you need, you know, especially with the whole COVID and things. Because bands are struggling. There's a lot of bands have broken up over this last year because of this, you know. For sure. Lucky um, we've all got jobs. Well, that's, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're, you're dead right. And hopefully one day you can kick those jobs in the curb and this can be your job, you that's know. That's the ultimate plan. That's the ultimate <laughs> plan. And that, and that is for most musicians, mate. So, you know, um, good luck. Well, keep us posted on where and when your new music. Now, uh, Firefight, uh, give us a little rundown quickly on that. What's that all about? So, yeah, uh, what we were saying before, we yep. wanted to do it last year, but... The time is right now, um, and because we've got our own experiences with friends and family, yes, people we know, people that they know, yes, that struggle with PTSD. Yeah, it's not good. Um, I've got a few few friends that do that too. Yes, and when when you start hearing the stories and when you start looking into it, like if if you look into it and actually do a bit of research on it, it's way worse than you think. Yeah. Um, I found out there's over 6,000 homeless Australians. Wow. That are veterans. Wow, really? And uh, there's... 6,000? 6,000. Whoa. Oh, it's an astronomical number. That's wrong, isn't it? That is so wrong. Um, and then you've also got the suicides. Yep. And, and the thing we hear the most is from our circle of friends and families that they couldn't find help. They couldn't find the right help. And a lot of them are too... too they don't want to ask for help. 
That's the they're embarrassed thing. about their situation. Yeah. You know, I, I've suffered, you know, depression and, and you know all that sort of stuff when I went through. I got really, really sick a few you know, seven, eight years ago, and I went through post, you know, major trauma, you know, depression and all yeah. that sort of stuff. And it's hard. You don't want to open up to people. You really don't want to go, hey, I need to talk, you know, because it, it, it is hard, you know. Yeah. But us being strong men and all the rest of it, we don't want to talk to people, you know. We just sort of keep it in ourselves and bottle it all up, which is not doing our, our mental health any good, you know. You need to go and have a chat to somebody. And, and if you do, get out there and have a chat to someone. There's Beyond Blue out there. There's all those sorts of places, you know. So, you know, it, don't don't let it bottle up, you know. Get out there. There is help out there. And there's free help out there too, you know. It's, yeah. it's you know, and it is a very solid. So it's all about that, basically. It's about, you know. So it's based, it's a true story. Yep. I re- did a lot of research. I read a lot of stories. Uh, this particular guy has to stay anonymous. Yes. Uh, he was found homeless on the streets. Yep. And that's the story he told. And that's the song Firefight. So the whole point of the song is trying to make help bring awareness to it yeah. so that people understand what it's actually like for these guys and what it does to them yeah and to their families so by doing that hopefully we can open up some more eyes and get a lot more people's support for our veterans mate my hat goes off to you boys thank you so much let's get it on now so everyone can hear what we're talking about thanks for coming in keep us aware of what you're doing if you've got any gigs coming up come in and see us let us know and i'll get it out in the air and let everyone know where you're going to be playing no keep it on their facebook page for up and coming gigs and for some new music this is uh i'll let you actually you guys introduce it. it's your song you introduce it hi i'm brent from scrutiny <laughs> and i'm darren this is firefighter 99.7 bridge fm enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> thanks boys
Big Jones Australian Mail. I'm 97 Bridge FM.